I've finished. Third year is over. I just wanted to do a third year roundup video, talking through everything that, you know, I felt, everything I did, got up to in third year. So I thought I'd just chat through what I got up to in first semester and second semester of third year, what units I did and hand-ins I had and you know how I felt throughout the whole thing. As a whole, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but third year was really good. It was my favourite year at uni, which maybe that was because I knew I was leaving. I just really enjoyed it. It was the year that I didn't feel any stress. I just, I wasn't stressed about any, you know, part of the year. Um, because I feel like I just really enjoyed what I was doing and what I was learning and what I was getting up to because everything, you know, was what I wanted to be doing. Yeah, obviously some of you may know what I did get up to in third year because that is the stuff that I've been talking about recently with my P-Social management business. Um, but I'll get into that later. But that's kind of what I've been up to and that's the end result and that is what I've handed in, which is crazy. Of course, obviously, being a fashion and artsy based course, uh, doesn't have any exams, it's all coursework based, so I had hand-ins. Um, I had essays and things and writing, but um, none of it is exam based at all, which is really nice, hence why I'm finished so early. It is the end of April and I've finished already, which is great. In semester one, I had three hand-ins maybe. Throughout each semester, we had presentations as well. Um, some of them were marked, some of them were unmarked. Uh, but we did have presentations. In the first semester we had one pretty quick. We had a 10 minute presentation that you did in front of two tutors and a few people who are in your, in your uh, seminar group and that was on a trend that was seen at uh, fashion weeks. I did the trend uh, tailoring so I titled it Bespoke and it was all about uh, tailoring that people wore at fashion week. You saw a lot of suits, um, cohorts, you know, suits, um, skirts and blazers, things like that. So that's what I did mine on, um, and you had to just go through everything that you saw at Fashion Weeks, uh, the type of prints, fabric, styles, uh, the history behind tailoring. So obviously I did the YSL Le Smoking suit and the Chanel suits and, you know, everything to do with the history of suits. So that was a 10 minute presentation, that was fine. The tutors that I had, um, well, my tutors throughout which I was really lucky. I felt really comfortable with them so um, I didn't you know feel too nervous about doing my presentation. I got a good mark in that, I got a first so that was great. I you know I was fine with doing that. We had a trend package um, hand in which was a 10 page trend package on spring summer 19 trends I believe but I can't remember. Anyway it was a future trend and I actually posted this on my Instagram, you might have seen it, but it was titled activist, as in, you know, activism and activists, but it was the movement and campaign towards women's exercise and physical activity, so that's why I included the whole activist part of it, just women being active, basically. And you had options, you could do, you know, like a beauty trend package or a fashion trend package, or you could just do a general trend package, can't remember what they called it um, in the end, just like a forecasting package basically, and it included everything as a whole and more of like a lifestyle movement instead of, you know, a particular colour eyeshadow or a particular colour sports leggings that was going to be in or a texture or fabric. So that's what I did. Um, you can actually go and see that on my Instagram, I believe. I'll try and link that down below because um, that was just an example of my work that I put up. And that was actually the unit that I got my best mark on. I got an upper first in that and I was so, so happy with that because I really enjoyed it. I did really enjoy the process of making the trend package. It was one of those where you could just sit on InDesign and just play around with colours and the layout and everything. It's just something I really like to do. I really enjoyed that unit. That was super fun. Trend forecasting can be pretty tricky, um, predicting trends is, you know, always a, a tricky one because trends kind of, you know, get cycled round so it's always going to have had an effect in the past, it's not really going to be something too brand new. And then the last unit that we had to hand in before semester one was our final major project proposal. Um, so obviously my final major project was the Peace Social Business and that is what I proposed um, in semester one. But you just got together all of your research, everything you wanted to 
do and achieve so I said obviously my website and an Instagram and this business as a whole and kind of what the business was going to entail on competitors and things like that and proposed the idea to your tutors basically to see what um, they thought and just get a rough plan of everything um, so obviously I did that yes things changed I didn't originally propose to do a podcast it was always in the back of my mind and I did suggest it to my tutor but then I thought actually no I don't want to do it because I don't know what I'm going to talk about I'm just me sat in my uni room like what am I going to speak about but I had so much time left over doing my final major project that I decided it was probably best that I did something else so I did the podcast and actually my podcast has given me a lot of opportunity since doing that um, so it was a good move I think <laughs> fingers crossed so yeah that was the proposal uh, again I got a really good mark for that I got a first which I was really happy about they seem my tutor seemed to really like my um, final major project idea I think a lot of people on my course um, because it's kind of like a makeup art based creative course we're doing coffee table books and magazines and you know a lot of shoots and things and that was something that I knew I definitely didn't want to do and I think my tutors knew that as well because throughout the whole process I have always gone digital and everything every route that I could have that involved digital and doing everything online and social media I did that part of it so they were happy that I was doing that and it was something different for them to speak about so yeah I was really happy with that throughout uh, semester one we also had our dissertation to do but that was handed in beginning of semester two but we did do our dissertation I was just trying to think on what I actually did my dissertation on and I don't even remember the title of my dissertation that's how like full-on this last semester has been I just don't remember a big part of my third year I think that it was something to do with the impact of it's a classic really isn't it, the impact of social media but I don't think it was that, I think we tried to steer away from that because a lot of people do it but it was the influences behind you know media in general on diet culture. Diet culture has been brought up a lot and I was trying to establish whether it was a new term or something um, you know that has, is just coming about and people are getting to know or if it's something that um, is a thing of the past or maybe things stem from the past um, to to make it a new concept uh, but you know the whole fat sugar uh, debate what's worse for you fat or sugar um, and how that's always changing some or some months it's sugar some months it's fat you know the whole avocado thing was a huge huge thing and then people actually thought no it's healthy fats and what you should be cutting out is sugar and so you know it's always changing and the effects that that has on people with eating disorders and everything like that so that's what I did my dissertation on I ended up getting a 2-1 for that which at the time I was so disappointed because I put so much effort into that dissertation and I went to one-to-ones every single week um, and from what I got feedback wise from all my tutors I was on the right track and I did everything fine came to marking it and it was completely different and they brought up things that they actually changed about my dissertation so it, it was, I don't know, it, it's a strange one because I'm so you know, I should be so happy that I got a 2-1. People would do anything for a 2-1 in a dissertation, a big writing piece. But for me, personally, I was just disappointed. And I don't want anyone to take offence to that because everyone is different, of course. But yeah, for me, I was a little bit disappointed. Purely because I've been almost, you know, I've been led on to believe that I was doing better than I did do. And uh, that was annoying. But I did have my dissertation to do throughout the first semester. Handed that in beginning of Jan. Another unit that was going... On throughout the whole year was um, work-based learning uh, in the fashion industry and that is completing a hundred hours of work experience within you know your chosen industry so I did um, I was social media manager on a digital magazine at uni called Anon Style and I was a makeup artist um, slash hairstylist in a team for a theatre production in Southampton um, I did what else did I do? Some open, day, open days and taster days um, with new people coming in and actually I met a few people who watch my videos which is very strange to actually meet people in person that watch your videos um, but yeah that was really really nice so I just did that and I made sure I got 100 hours done and at the end of that you had to write a 2000 word reflective statement um, on your whole experiences so that was a reflective writing piece. Yeah that was kind of semester one done and then it was Christmas it was very full-on 
Uh, semester one was way busier than semester two, but I think they do that just so you, all you have to focus on in semester two is your final major project. It was good and it was bad in the sense that semester two just completely dragged because all we had in semester two was final major project and evaluation. So you just had to do your final major project. You had to complete a reflective journal, which is like a week by week piece, an entry you could either put on a blog or you could do a Word document. I did a Word document. Um, I don't like writing things on blogs for uni work. I used to do that in first year and I just didn't really enjoy it. So I did a Word document um, on that, you know, your research and your processes as you're going through, any unexpected outcomes, what was a success, what didn't work, blah, blah, blah. And then at the end of it, you had to do a 1,500 word um, evaluation, reflective evaluation on your whole process as something that your tutor can read. Yeah, that was the whole of semester two, really. You had to do a 2,000 word reflective statement, obviously, for web-based learning, but I just did that gradually and that was fine. In terms of final major project, Semester two was the easiest semester for me. I spent most of my time at home purely because it was something that I could do remotely and I really enjoyed that. Obviously I had my podcast to record, my website to design, uh, my Instagram. I did some shoots to get some photos for my Instagram. Went to London with Lottie and did a few um, shoots there which was fun. But apart from that everything I just really enjoyed because it's what I was doing as a process to finishing my final major project is essentially what I want to do as my final major project business. So it was website design, it was social media marketing and management of my own business. So, you know, it was a little bit of insight as to what I could do potentially in the future for other businesses. I, I just didn't feel sad throughout the whole thing, which is really strange to me because, you know, first and second year were awful. And to be fair, semester one of uh, third year was pretty rough. Um, a lot happened. But, you know, it happened for the best and it was uh, the best outcome that could have happened uh, for me. So, yeah, third year overall, I actually really enjoyed it. And a lot of people kind of hype up third year as this really stressful, horrible year. And yes, it can be if you make it stressful. You know, all my other uni roundup videos have been somewhat negative, uh, purely because I just haven't enjoyed uni as a whole. And I think maybe because, you know, I was doing what I liked, I could be at home, I was doing stuff remotely, I could do the things that I enjoyed, I could go and do shoots with Lottie in London, and I can go and see my friends and, and you know, do a lot of different things, it made it enjoyable for me. I also had amazing tutors in third year. I had, I was assigned to one tutor, um, who actually left towards the end of semester two to go and get married but um, I was still in contact so that was fine and I then had another tutor who I was kind of with throughout the whole process anyway so it didn't really matter but I yeah I really really loved my tutors in uh, third year you really do get close to them and they get to know you know your project and you as a person and and that's something that I really enjoyed they were interested in what I was doing um, they had an interest in it themselves and they helped me get opportunities and they are helping me get opportunities now which you know I'm so grateful for and uh, they were just amazing and I think they really made my third year fun. In terms of uh, living situations in third year obviously it's exactly the same as second year so pretty shit. After everything that has happened and everything that happened in semester one I was so happy with the outcome of everything that happened meaning that you know sadly I was alone a lot of the time I obviously had Kia Kia is always mentioned in everything but she um, really really was and is my best friend um, at uni and she just we're so similar in the sense that we love our own space watch Netflix go out shop eat blah 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 and we can have that time together but we also really like time alone just really respected each other's you know feelings and she she has a boyfriend there anyway so uh, she got to spend time with him and then when she wasn't with him if she wasn't you know on her own just chilling then we do stuff and that and that was so lovely but it really allowed me to have you know the space away from working and uni that I needed but um, when I wasn't with Kia and I was pretty alone in the house I just had so much time to do my work and it was just a really easy leisurely process. I would watch Netflix, I'd do some work, I'd have days off 
and it just was never a stress and I really really enjoyed that. Although it was rubbish at times, obviously, being alone in your house and not really having anyone to speak to, I appreciated it because it meant that I got a lot of my work done. That is a bonus um, out of the rubbish living situations. I'm just very happy to get out. I didn't actually spend a lot of time there in semester two, so. And again, obviously, um, my boyfriend was away in the West Indies, so um, he wasn't there for my semester one, so that just, again, gave me so much time to do my own work. And yeah, it was just, yeah, it, it was really nice. It was nice to uh, get on with work, but also spend time with Kia knowing that you know, now I'm not going to see her again until graduation or, well, I'm probably going to see her, but, you know, this was kind of the last time that we'd be living in the same city as such, because she's a northerner and I'm a southerner, um, so we were obviously going to be apart. I was speaking to Kia about this the other day, like, we've had very similar, um, experiences with uni as a whole. We don't really enjoy uni. Uh, to be honest. We're lucky that we had each other um, and we both enjoyed third year because it was something that we wanted to be doing. You know, we didn't feel like it was a stress or anything like that and we're grateful for the whole uni process because if I hadn't have gone to uni I wouldn't be where I am now. I wouldn't have met Kia, wouldn't have met all the people I've met at uni. I, yeah, really wouldn't be in the situation that I'm in now which is very weird you know, to think. As a whole, I mean, it's been great. Moving out was fun. You get to experience living on your own and doing everything. And I really enjoy it. And being back home is uh, interesting, to say the least. I haven't got a negative outcome out of it. I've achieved a lot at uni and I'm really happy with the results that I'm on track for and to graduate with. And all the opportunities that I've got, obviously I'm working with both of my tutors really closely at the moment and they've both got me individual opportunities to do with my business which is amazing and um, I've also got the opportunity to speak about mental health at university in August um, for the get ready for uni show which is amazing I wouldn't have got that if I hadn't gone to uni you know just working with different brands and everything even if it was through my YouTube or my Instagram you know just meeting the people that I've met it's, it's really been it's been fun and it's gonna be weird it is really weird being home and not having any deadlines is strange. I think that's third year rounded up. I, you know, I didn't find it stressful. I actually really enjoyed it. Got to spend a lot of time with Kia, got to do um, my work, <laughs> like a lot of work, but I did it so that, you know, I didn't feel stress. It was very leisurely. I watched an, as much YouTube and Netflix as I wanted to. I went out shopping. We went to eat a lot. You know, I just had a really good time and I really enjoyed my last year of uni when I thought it was going to be a huge stress. It was actually pretty good. Yeah, that is third year in a nutshell. You know, doing these videos after every year and pe the same people following me on that journey from first year and they're like finishing uni now as well. And it's really nice, you know, when I get messages saying, oh, I'm two weeks away from handing. I've been watching your videos since first year and you've helped me get through uni and blah, blah, blah. It's just... Yeah, it's really nice. So obviously my final major project uh, for my last year at uni and hopefully something that I'll be able to carry on is my P social management business. I've mentioned this in so many of my recent videos so you probably are sick to death of hearing about it but I will leave all the links down below. It is a social media management and marketing business and you know it's targeted towards small businesses and those people who want to grow their social media or need some help with website design, graphic design, product photography, content creation, but social media management, you know, anything to do with that. I'll leave my website and contact and everything down below. And if you want to get in touch, feel free. Even if you just want to chat, that is fine. I think I might do a video on, you know, steps after uni and how I feel coming away from uni and what I'm going to do next. Obviously, I have my business that I will be doing freelance. I have you know, some clients I'm speaking to already, so hopefully I'll have a little bit of work with that whilst I'm, you know, building that. I've also applied for another job. Yeah, it's so exciting. It is a job that I'd absolutely love. But anyway, we won't speak about it too much because I don't want to jinx anything. But I'm just taking the time to really enjoy, you know, not being at uni and just having a little bit of a break before I get into full-time work for essentially the rest of my life which is very strange yeah i will probably end up doing a video on that but if you did want to know a little bit of insight of what i'm doing next because that always seems to be the question like what are you doing now you finish uni every time i'm like well i don't really know but what are you doing now are you still living at home or getting a job 
everything will work out, I'm sure of it. That is my third year roundup. I hope you've enjoyed it. I will be doing some, you know, uni related videos still because I'm still a student until I graduate and that's not until July. So I will make the most of being a student and, you know, give you my thoughts on everything about uni. I will see you next week for another one.